Winston, Benito, 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 The 2019 California 2019 California State Division II Boys Championship Race. We are here with Newberry Park head coach Sean Brosnan, who again presides over a boys team that wins their second consecutive state championship here in Division II. Coach Brosnan, again, congratulations. A phenomenal, phenomenal season that wraps up with a phenomenal effort here at the state meet. If you could, what was your message to the team? They came into this as a favorite, a heavy favorite. Um, obviously, you've got to go out there and execute. They were able to do that here in, in quality fashion. What did you tell them before the race here today? I mean, before the race, I just said, this is just another day. You know our final goal. Um, you know, and the, the race advice was, Nico, bring it out. Bring that first mile out. And e every one of my guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, knew where they needed to be behind Nico at, where, at what point in that race. Um, I wanted four guys. I wanted, you know, four guys in the top. 10, I think we barely did that. I think I had my fifth guy, my uh, fourth guy get 10th place. Um, that was the goal. You know, we uh, were down one. We have our, our, our phenomenal freshman, uh, Lex Young. Um, he was sick for a little bit and then he pulled something in his performance and some, he had some things going on that we just chose not to run him. Um, maybe Nationals next week. So our regular fifth was, you know, showed up today, uh, Daniel Appleford, and he, he ran sub-1540, which was great. I think we, I heard we broke the team time by like 30 seconds or something, and that was not the goal. I said, we don't chase records. Nico Young, going into this race, I, I'm, I'm going to say at 1424, he could have got that record, but his goal was to just run controlled and comfortable, and he needed to be honest with himself. He looked right at me at a mile and a quarter, and he said, I'm fine, coach. I saw him just past two miles. He gave me two thumbs up. I knew he wasn't working too hard, because our overall goal for these guys is nationals. Yes, we want the state title, and we can't get there unless we do this, and you can't take anyone for granted. I told him, I said, Dana Hills is coming at us. I Claremont's coming at us. I don't care if we beat him by 100 points, 20 points, 10 points. Anything could happen on a given day, and they knew that, and that's one thing I remind them. You can't take anything for granted. Talk a little bit about the balancing act from a coaching perspective that you had to do with the individual goal of maybe a Nico and then the rest of the team. Obviously, when you have somebody of that caliber, there are things that they have to do outside of the rest of the team. Right. But then they have to work within the frame of the team, too. What has that dynamic been like this year? You know, it's been great. Actually, Nico's been a huge leader this year. You know, he's probably not the most vocal person and loud, crazy personality, but he's a leader by example. And, you know, Nico, he, I mean, he does everything from nutrition to make sure he gets to sleep to doing all the supplemental stuff that we do. And I think that would trickle down to all the guys in my team because now I have JV guys that are proud to be part of my JV team that are running 14th, 15th man that are trying to do and be like Nico. And it's just been amazing. I mean, yeah, Nico's a little different beast. You kind of have to figure out his workouts. He might have a little bit more, a little bit less. He has, you know, he does double certain days and other guys won't. And we understand that. But at the same point, it's, uh, you know, Everyone looks at him as a leader, and I think you know him by example. And, being, and they know where they use him as a guide. Where I need to be when Nico's out here, you know, Nico might do more than them, you know, faster. But we need to fi we figured all that out, and it's just it's just been great. Now, obviously, in the team aspect, you can have a standout, but you got to have guys behind them. Right. Jace has obviously had a wonderful oh, yeah. year, Colin, a fantastic year. Just talk about what it's been like seeing the improvement of those guys who may be in the shadow of right. Nico, but obviously very accomplished in their own way. You know, those guys have been great. I mean, people like Colin as a sophomore, I don't know his official time, but I think he went on to 1510. It was like 1508, 1509. You do that as a sophomore, that's pretty phenomenal. Um, you know, and I have freshmen that ran 1530s. You know, the thing is, like I said, it comes from the top. It's like, you know, if the one thing I do is I tell all my guys, I say, listen, if you do everything I say and we lose, blame me. But if you do everything and if you're not doing everything, don't blame me because it's it's pretty cut and dry. I, I understand you do certain things if things can happen. Yeah, you got to have talent. You got to put the work in. But these guys, I don't know. They all, they just believe in each other. And and you know, I think Colin feeds off Nico, and then my my sixth and seventh guy feeds off Colin. And it's, it's just they're a great team. They're a family. They hang out all the time. They're good buds. You know, you know, we went to altitude this summer in, in a training camp, and everyone loved it. And it's just been. It's, you know, everyone's like, oh, they're going to fight. They're going to be with each other too much. Not at all. These guys are closer. Um, that, that's the big thing. I think 
I think if you, uh, I, I don't, I, I think there was a coach that once said, any, if there's any drama, you're never going to win. You know, there's no drama with these team girls and guys both, and they're pretty amazing. So. And then finally, again, the season for the boys definitely not over with yet. More business to take care of next weekend. Uh, what will your message be in recalibrating them from coming down off of this? Obviously, you stated that your goal was not just a state championship, yeah. but it's to go on and do things in the postseason. Right. How will you get them ready for the next challenge? We, they believe in my. Uh, I, I mean, they believe in what we're trying to do with our peaking and our tapering. It's very, very, very particular, um, and you know. We we set our whole season up for this race and next week. That's what we set it up for. Um, you know, we have a workout on Monday or Tuesday, depending how they feel tomorrow. Like, you know, tomorrow's on their own, whatever they want to do. But I'm going to figure out what's going on on Monday and Tuesday. We're going to reassess things. Um, we we don't really cut mileage very much. We keep it on the higher side. I think your body feels flat when you do that. Yeah, if you're if you're running 70, you know, we'll cut down to the 50s. But none of my guys will really be under 50, except the guys who are un, who are at 50 now. You only cut a little bit, and you know, we're just going to make sure these guys are. Um, you know, feeling good you know we're not a team that runs three miles a day this whole week we put a workout in you know I want they, they got to you know I want that central nervous system I want them to feel something this week I want them to feel pace and they will and we're gonna be ready to go Saturday you know? we look forward to seeing it again Newberry Park High School wins their second consecutive championship division two boys coach Sean Brockman congratulations Thank you.